Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are their energies towards you? What are their thoughts, feelings about you? And what are their intentions towards you as well? All right, let's jump right in. For Pisces, spirit, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Pisces spirit? Regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time, what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know regarding this other person? What are their main energies towards Pisces? What are their main energies towards Pisces at this time? Wow, the Ace of Cups. Another sign got this as well. It was the first card out. A lot of love here. Obviously, interest. Um, wanting a new beginning in love. Emotions overflowing. Emotional abundance. What else do we need to know about this person's energy towards Pisces? Strength. Leo energy. Interesting, when I see a strength with a card like the Ace of Cups or the Ace of Wands or any other Ace, I think of someone that is really wanting that new beginning, almost to the point of like, they don't, they're not letting things naturally happen. They kind of want to, I guess, make something happen with a lot of like intention and force. Because strength is about a different type of control. Instead of physical force, you're using emotional strength um, and you're doing that to tame the lion, right? That's the whole um, traditional artwork of the strength card. She is softly petting a lion and she's able to do that because she's using a different method, a different approach to subdue the lion. So that could be one interpretation there that someone, you know, your person's really like wanting to make this happen no matter what. But another um, way to interpret this is Maybe they need a little bit of courage or strength to come forward. Maybe they are a Leo or have Leo in their chart. What else can you tell me about this person's energy towards Pisces? What's their energy towards Pisces? Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. This is crazy. The Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely somebody that wants a new beginning, a new start to initiate something with you regarding love. And it might start with communication. This could be online dating. This could be someone you meet somewhere and it kind of like moves quickly with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is like fast communication, a lot of communicating back and forth or just a lot of fast action. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this person's energies towards Pisces. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Pisces? I can tell you they're motivated. This person knows what they want with you. Deep regret. There's regret over past actions. Okay. What else? What else do we need to know? For Pisces. Maybe this is someone regretting um, not taking action sooner. We have sudden realization as well. So clarity, understanding. Um, I feel like they're understanding something that happened in the past here. Um, and maybe they're getting kind of like a, an awakening. Because whoever this is, they've They've narrowed it down to, to this with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. All right, what else? What is their energy towards Pisces? Okay. Maybe that's why they need courage or maybe that's why they're so kind of like determined with strength to get this under control, under balance, under submission, um, because they're realizing something, like maybe they're realizing they can't lose you. Wicked stepsister, jealousy, drama, interference. This card has come out 
several times by now. And this is like a 54 card deck. <laughs> so I think it's interesting that this card comes out. So jealousy, drama, interference. Someone or something that gets in the way of this connection. Let's get one more. What else for Pisces? What else do we need to know about well, this person's energy? Oh, I got two. Labyrinth, confusion, uncertainty, complexity. Okay, so there's a lot going on here, Pisces. And then into the woods, fear, uncertainty, karmic path. So I feel this is a situation where your person has regrets over some decision they made in the past that affected you. We have the Divine Feminine at the bottom of the deck. Um, the Princess card. It could be that this is somebody that um, has regrets over past actions, like I said, have had some sort of realization about what they want with you, what they feel towards you, Pisces. And this has been kind of an ongoing um, reading for Pisces. Um, it could have been that there was drama, conflict, or someone literally got in the way here. But I feel like that's it's added this layer of obviously uncertainty, but also like there's fear, there's complexity here. Someone could have been um, down a karmic path, and that karmic path could have taught them some lessons here. Okay, what do they want to tell Pisces? What does this person want to tell Pisces? Spirit, what message does this person have for Pisces? What do they want to tell Pisces at this time? What message do they have for Pisces? Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's that like choices, confusion, having to make a decision. Ten of Wands. I feel like this person's going to tell you that something has been difficult. They've been carrying a burden, a weight. What else? What else for Pisces? What message do they have for Pisces? And the Empress. I think they're going to recognize something about your worth, your value. Yeah, the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they realize you're their soulmate. Maybe they have good memories with you. Maybe they know that they had something sweet, a sweet connection with you. Um, something that probably had a lot of potential for growth. Maybe there was abundance here. Love, true love. And I feel like somewhere down the line, mistakes were made. And now they're carrying a burden. Now they're carrying something with them. You know, and wanting to set this burden down. Trying to figure out what cup is the best cup to offer you. What option is the best option here. With the Seven of Cups. You know. But also the Seven of Cups is like someone that might be a bit overwhelmed or you know, it's it's almost like there's too many options, too many ways this could go. Let's get some PS I love you's out here so we can get some insight into what they're thinking, feeling, what's in their heart space regarding Pisces. Spirit, what are they thinking, feeling? What's in their heart space? What's in their heart space regarding Pisces? Hard space regarding Pisces. What's in their hard space regarding Pisces? Our connection is divinely guided. So I think that this realization that they're having is Pisces is the one for me. This is a special connection. There's something different about us. And I really screwed that up at some point. Or I allowed someone to influence me. I allowed someone to get in the way. Maybe there was a little bit too much jealousy or ego here. Taking charge. This was remind me of the strength card. Yeah, this person's going to take action just because I feel like in their mind they have to. Yep, and there's awakening. Like they have to take action because of what they know now. 
Bottom of the deck is facing fears. Yeah. So I feel like this is someone that... I don't know. I'm picking up that they... Normally, they would be afraid to come forward. And this connection has been through a lot. So it's not so simple as just showing up and being like, I'm here. There's more to this. There's burdens here. And also, Pisces, I feel like you're this Empress energy. You know, the Divine Feminine. Some of you could have feminine, strong feminine energy. But the Empress knows their worth. They bring a lot to the table. They have resources, gifts to make something happen. Confident, you know, because of what they can bring to the table, right? There's confidence behind that. This is someone that they know what they want, what they can use to get it, and then they go and get it, you know? They are able to plant seeds, grow the seeds, and then the harvest is awesome. So the Empress doesn't need anybody. What the Empress needs is somebody at her level. I think time has passed here since whatever this was, whatever this deep regret into the woods energy, time has passed enough time for your person to have a sudden realization and awakening about what they need to do. They need to take charge here. They need to match your energy. So what are their intentions towards you? What are their intentions towards Pisces spirit? What are their intentions towards Pisces? The fool, yes, taking risks. A leap of faith into the unknown. Facing fears, definitely. Because this is all about a new start for them. Their goal is something new with you. Opening the door to a new chapter with you. Can I get some more insight into the fool? What do we, okay. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. We have the page of cups. Yeah. So they're going to reach out, I feel. Um, three of cups is at the bottom of the deck. I think they're going to try to um, apologize here. Tell you how they feel, Pisces. In order to have a new beginning with you. In order to start something new. Um, this is going to take a lot of courage, I feel. Uh, because the fool is definitely someone that has courage. Uh, the fool is... They, they're the ones that like will be the first ones to, to take that step. And now with the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here, I'm getting that this is all in... Um, it's like the this is all happening because they're hoping for a reunion, um, a coming together, a balancing of whatever happened here. So I feel like this is definitely someone, it doesn't have to be someone from the distant past, but I do get that for, for some of you, this person had to go through a karmic lesson. And those take some time, you know? They, they, they went down a karmic path because of the decisions they made, the mistakes they made. And it's like they had to go through that. That had to happen in order for them to have this awakening, to understand something in a new way. So I definitely feel like this person will reach out in some way. I think it might be like through like an online message. Uh, because at the very least, they want to say that they're sorry, you know? Um, at the very least, I feel like they want to communicate what they've learned, you know? Because this is this has become a burden for them. And I don't know, I feel like with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, it's like they see the potential there and it's almost like, why don't we try again? Should we try again? That's what I'm getting here. Let me know in the comments, Pisces, if how you feel about that. But I feel like that's what this person's intentions will be with the Page of Cups and the Fool. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, don't forget to check out the description box for the details. Um, and I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.